Except for my little propane grill, which I don't use very often. Yeah. We use no fossil fuels to heat the house, no fossil fuels for hot water, and no fossil fuels to mow the lawn. We basically had two choices, yeah. geothermal or electric. And we went with electric because this is a new technology for the United States. It's a very old technology in Europe. They've been using these for 50 years, and it works on electric thermal storage. This is a Steffi's. It's on any conventional. We connected it, had the plumber connect it right up to the existing forced hot water. They also have forced hot air units. And it heats up the bricks slowly over a period of time. And in Hull, at night, when the wind blows, and nobody else is using the electricity, this stores the heat in the bricks, and I'm actually heating the house with wind in Hull. This started with people being offered off-peak rates. Now, I have asked the, I, we have a chicken and egg problem here. I have asked the Hull Light Company and the commissioners, I have one supporter so far, uh, they voted me down so far to give me an off-peak rate at night, so I only use it at night when they're only generating power from wind, because they don't need to buy it from the grid, because we're almost 20% wind. At night at 3 o'clock in the morning, we're probably 100% wind. And the winds are stronger at night, in the winter time, which is when you use the heater. However, they won't approve my off-peak rate yet because they said I'm the only one in town with one of these. But my chicken and egg argument is I wouldn't be the only one in town if they offered an off-peak rate. That's the problem. And the, the hot water heater um, is, is a tankless hot water heater. Our big joke is a tankless job, but somebody's got to do it. Okay. And, uh, and, and it is instantaneous, so you don't pay to keep all that water hot all day long. You only pay for exactly what you use. And oh, by the way, these, this shows the temperature in centigrade um, that the water's going to come out at. You can adjust it any way you like. Uh, and you can have limitless hot water, uh, which I wouldn't advise. These appliances are about I don't know, 99% efficient, I think. The break-even point for running it is it's cheaper to run it if oil is $3 a gallon or more. When I had this installed last year, mm -hmm. oil was more than $3 a gallon. Now it's not going to pay for itself. But oh. as soon as oil goes back up to over $3 over a gallon, yeah. if it increases on average 10% every year, if oil increases 10% every year, mm -hmm. which many people think eventually it is going to do that on average, then this would pay for itself in about seven years, not including the off-peak rate. It would be a much shorter buyback time if the town of Hull would offer me an off-peak rate. And Concord does. Concord and Concord does. Thank yeah. you. How did you know that? I just know. Concord has electric thermal storage, and Concord, if you have one of these installed, they will give you up to, I believe, a $3,000 rebate. So now, what's the bottom line? How much do you pay? for, you know, what we would traditionally think is, you know, oil, gas, heat, whatever. Do you have any of those expenses? Yeah, I do. Uh, I had a 200-gallon tank, mm -hmm. and that was $600 to fill up at $3 a gallon. And I was using um, less than two tanks, but that's because we're not here a lot in the winter. We keep the thermostat really low anyway. Mm -hmm. But let's say for purposes of argument that it was uh, $1,200 in oil. Right, for the year. Used. Yeah. This probably is costing me about thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars electricity. But okay. the reason is they won't give me an off-peak rate. If they gave me an off-peak rate, I think it would be close to break even, mm -hmm. and it would definitely be worth it if when oil goes back up. But the other thing that that, that people should know about this technology, if you think about it, there are no, there is no combustion now in this house. The flue was, was blocked up, see? There is no need for an emergency switch anytime you have oil or gas. You have to have an emergency switch to turn it off in case there's a fire. Mm -hmm. I'm working on getting a, a rebate on my insurance because there's no combustion. No combustion for the lawnmower, no combustion to heat the hot water, other than what's coming from the grid. Now, you figure that, you know, 20% of these appliances are... 13 to 20 percent in Hull are wind power. But once Hull goes 100 percent wind, I will be absolutely no combustion. We'll go down to our carbon footprint of near zero for, for, these, uh, for these uses, and just about any uses. So 
we didn't want any combustion, we didn't want any fossil fuels, and so this is what this is what we did. And then the other thing we did is I didn't like the I didn't like the fossil fuels used in the lawnmower. Okay. So I got and this is Newton. By the way, all three of these products are ma manufactured in the United States. Oh good. green jobs. All right. This mower, you don't have to pull it to start it. All you do is you charge up the battery, and again, if I charge it overnight, I'm charging my battery with wind power and hull. Right. It's very easy. You just pop this in. Make sure I get it in there. Just pop this in. Close that. It's got a safety plug on it. It's very quiet. It'll sound noisy in here because it's inside, but it's very quiet. And I was tired of pulling that cord and all the fumes and everything. So back up just a little. Okay. You see, you see it's on. Yeah. And all you do is, whoop. Oh, and does it do a good job? It's a great job. And there's a bigger one here if you don't like this, but I can, I have a pretty big yard and I can move the, mow, the, mow the whole thing on one charge. And they sell extra batteries so you can keep two of them charged okay. if you have a huge yard. I would never need that. I've never run out of juice from this, uh, even when the lawn, even when the grass has been really long. And now, do you have a website if people are interested in yes, learning more? Yes, yes. Okay. And then the slideshow is on the website. Okay. It's greenepiphany.com. We also have another product where uh, we have these wind turbine clocks. 